I thought um, I thought it was a hard fought game. I thought both teams played uh, extremely hard. Um, it was a, it was a close game. Um, they made the plays uh, that they needed to make at the end of the game. Uh, hats off to uh, Wyoming. Um, you know they've been they've been playing hard. I've watched them a lot on film, and I, I thought they were they were playing as hard as anyone else uh, in our league. And um, we had our chances. Uh, we just weren't able to capitalize, and um, we just came up short. Yeah. Are you planning on telling the guys to take less shots to try to make more in the future going down? Or no, um, we're we're taking wide open shots. We just didn't make them. Um, uh, we've had situations where we've made them. So um, we're getting. It's also a function of how they play defense too. So if you watch how they play, they they like to uh, pack the paint. If you realize, we didn't really get a lot of drives to the basket for a layup. So when that happens, the guys on the outside are wide open. So you have to shoot the ball. If you don't shoot it, which you can choose not to, but if you don't shoot it, then you're just going to wind up driving the ball right back into a pack of people. So it's, it's, it's a function of how they play defense, but also we want to shoot threes. Um, obviously, we don't want that type of percentage, but we, we, we want to shoot threes. We're going to continue to shoot them. Coach, uh, Dale Watson's bring some class to this field today. Can you take us through that, um, that possession on defense when you guys um, were down two that ultimately led to that game-winning three? Uh, uh, yeah, we just we lost a guy on the perimeter. Um, Maldonado made a great play. That's what great players do. Um, he, didn't, he didn't force the issue. He hit the wide-open guy, and the guy made a shot. It's a make-miss game, and that's, that's what happens. I know that's really a – it's really a, a trivial, uh, very easy answer, but it really does come down to that. Uh, no matter how you look at it, you can look at a lot of things, but it comes down to make miss. Like a guy drives, a guy pitches, the guy's set to shoot it, he makes it. Um, defenses sometimes can um, stop a drive and then get out to the uh, three point shooter, um, depending on, you know, it's kind of like a game of cat and mouse. You know, as the guy's driving it, can the defender decide when to leave to go to get to the shooter or not? And the guy who's passing it, how fast can he pass the ball to get it to the guy? And the guy that's receiving it, can he receive it and then get it off quickly, which comes down to just a make-miss situation. Well, I mean, it's up to the discretion of the ref b based on when the foul happened. Um, we weren't – I thought the refs did a great job. I thought they called a great game. Uh, so, um, you know, that's up to the discretion of wh when the foul is happening, has the player taken an extra dribble or not to then call whether it's an and one or not. I mean – at the end of the day, we got two shots. We, uh, I don't know if he even made – did he make both of them? I got a lot of things going through my head. So, yeah, I mean, he made one of two. Um, but, again, it wasn't about that play. I mean, we had, we had a lot of chances, just like they had a lot of chances. But, but to answer your question, it comes down to when the foul happened. Like, we had a foul underneath their basket, and the kid laid it in, but the refs got together and said the foul was before the shot. So – you know, it, it all depends on when the foul was called, to answer your question. Coach, uh, you played some fantasy nights on Fox CSCS. Uh, coming off the first half, Wyoming had 20 of their 26 points in the paint. In the paint. And they went 1 of 15 from three-point land. What was well, the difference of game plan coming out of the first half when Wyoming would go 4 of 11 from three in the second half? Did you guys find yourself to paint more? No, we were just losing our guys um, in the zone. But, but. So, here, so here's the situation. If we go zone, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take away threes, which we were blowing our coverage. But 
in the same breath, what happens is you're getting attacks at the basket, and we don't necessarily have a shot blocker. So it puts a lot of pressure on whoever's at the basket, whoever, the, whoever our center is. At the, at the end of the day, it's still a two-point shot. I don't think, and our staff doesn't think like that's the reason why we, we necessarily lost the game, because I switched up and went man-to-man -man and switched one through five, and it kind of got us back in rhythm defensively, um, and we were able to get the lead. But um, when you're just looking at the numbers and you look at points in the paint, yeah, it would, it would make you ask, oh, well, how, does, how do you have so many points in the paint? It's a function of what we're doing defensively because we don't want them to get threes, but then obviously teams understand that, so they're just going to drive us. And then when they drive us, what does that do? It puts pressure on the defense, and it, it forces the refs to have to make a call or not make a call. So all, all of those things are going on at, at the same time when, when, as coaches, we're trying to make those decisions. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, they were able to uh, finish off possessions and, and we weren't. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we, we have full respect for everyone we play. Um, I told our guys, as soon as we lost to Boise that, that night, you know, we, we talked about the game real quick, and then I talked about this game. So those guys were well aware of, you know, Wyoming, where they are, what they're trying to do, how hard they play. So we talked about all that, and it has nothing to do with disrespect. We, we respect everyone uh, in our league. It was just a hard-fought game. There's just two teams that are fighting. I mean, last year we beat Utah State. You know, we hadn't won a game. We beat Utah State here, and we beat New Mexico here. You know, so each and every game, you can't look at the standings and say, oh, we're supposed to. No, you can't do that, especially in college basketball. On any given day, you can beat whoever. And that, that's, that's the joy of college basketball. There's a lot of parity. Number one in the country has changed a thousand, nine, 10, maybe 12, I don't know. You can look at the numbers, but there is no dominant team. Now, with that being said, yeah, there are teams, if you're not ready to play, I don't know if you want to say not ready to play. I just think that there's a lot of parity and there are a lot of players around the country that on any given day can, can put it all together. And, and that's basically what you saw. Hey, Coach, we know uh, Rich Washington has been scoring solid off the bench, uh, 14 points, but he had five assists today. Can you just talk about his impact on the game today? As a uh, yeah, Rich, um, Rich did a great job today. I mean, he found the open guy. He made the right reads. That's what we want our guards to be able to do. We want all, all of our perimeter guys. We don't really have a point guard. I don't want that. I want a guard, and that's what we're trying to develop. So when that's happening, I want guys that can, yes, make the shot, also penetrate and pitch, also come off and then make a read and pass it to the big guy for a dunk or a layup or whatever it may be, or throw it to the backside to the guard that's coming out. And that's what we work on all the time. I thought Rich did a pretty good job today of that. And um, in, the, in the second half today, um, six of San Jose State's turnovers were bad passes either to uh, Wilson or Alex Ross. So mm -hmm. your brand this season, um, with um, San Jose State, is so committing to these kind of forced turnovers. How much does it, uh, does it feel frustrating for you when you're still making this kind of mistakes? Your first win this season, given the recent trend. Yes, I have called them pick sixes. So um, I, it's not frustrating because uh, we've had a couple of games recently where we've turned it over a lot. But for the most part, we've been controlling our, our turnovers. And the assists, when you look at the assists, it really comes down to just making a shot because we're actually moving the ball and the ball is getting into guys' hands. So um, it's not necessarily where we have to tweak anything there. Uh, the turnovers... I don't think we were over um, penetrating or doing anything um, out of the ordinary. Uh, you know, again, I don't, I don't think we have a huge turnover problem. I mean, I remember when we could never even get 16-14. You know, we had 16 assists and 14 turnovers. Yeah, it was a lot. Um, they had 18 assists, nine turnovers. Yeah, they held the ball pretty good. Um, but... Again, I think we had our chances to win this game, and I'm not going to pin it on you know turnovers. I think we've, I think we have gotten a lot better in that department. 
Yeah. Yeah. So coach, I recall a moment during the second half where you guys were down like thirty four one and thirty one. Eventually you guys just managed to make a comeback. What yeah. did you tell the boys to work on to get the momentum going? To be honest with you, all we did was we just changed our defense. That's when we changed and went man-to-man and switched everything, and it slowed them down. It got us going a little bit. We were able to get some shots, uh, get some turnovers, um, get out in the open court. Uh, we had a couple of and ones in transition. That's, that's all it was, and it got us right back in the game. And again, if you really, really pay attention or study what's going on, uh, we were able to make some threes in that run too. And it, it, it really just comes back to – making shots. I don't want to just talk about one side of the ball because, yes, you do have to play defense as well. But we did change because we were playing zone, and that goes back to his question about points in the paint. All of that was happening in the first parts of the second half, and then I switched and went man-to-man, which cut that off, and then it allowed us to get out in the open court, and we made some threes. And that's how you get back in the game very quickly. Yeah, I don't have a comment on that. You have a question? No, what are some positives that you guys take away from this game? Positives. Uh, that's a good one. Um, well, I, I think we have a young team. Um, we're playing a lot of young guards, freshmen, sophomores. Um, we have some bigs out there that are juniors. Um, so the positive is that even though we lost, our program is still in process. Now, we wanted to win that game. This one, to me, I've been doing this for a long time as a player, as a coach. This one's going to sting uh, for a long time for me. So, but, but I also know that we are still in process. So the, the positive of this is, guys, you need to be in these moments to understand the value of league play. And you got to bring it every single night, and you have to be mentally and physically, spiritually ready to play. Uh, on any given night, because on any given night, it can happen. Just like we almost beat San Diego State. We're the only team that's even come close to beating them. Now, you could say, well, how come you haven't played that well ever since? Well, the reason why is because we're an inconsistent team. And the difference between good and great is inconsistency or consistency, depending on how you look at it. So the positive is we are still in process, and our guys, even though they're hurting, and I feel for them, we are still learning. <clears throat> Every Colts fan would say that three years is too long. Too long to stay in this deep run. And, and well, what do I tell fans? Uh, because it's been year three, I don't really tell the fans anything. I just work on the team, and we have to work on us to try and get better. That's, that's what all of this is about. Um, and we take it step by step. They've only had two winning seasons here in 32 years. So, there's a lot that has to change, and we are in process of trying to change that. We have seven wins this year. Last year, we only had four. That is progress. That's, 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 that's progress for a, a, a program that is trying to get to where the middle of the pack or the high end of our league is, and that's, that's how you have to look at it. We can't, we can't look at it any other way. It's step by step, it's practice by practice, and you have to put on your work shoes, and you have to work. You can't worry about thoughts, what people think, and what people say. You have to work on your craft every single day and believe in that. I believe in my players. The inner circle and the administration believes in me and our players, and we have fans that believe in what we're trying to do, and that's what matters. No, let him get his question. Uh, it's not like a month left of the season. Yeah. Can you kind of talk about what you're going to be focusing on this game? Uh, well, the focus is we continue to try and get better. <laughs> Let's try and continue to try and get our turnovers down. Let's keep working on our shooting. Let's keep working on our skill. Obviously, we're in situations where we're in games. Sometimes we're not, depending on whether we show up or not. But there's a lot of basketball to be played. We can go to the conference tournament. You can win. We can win. There's no question. If our zone, the one thing I love about our zone is it could allow you to win three games in three days or four games in four days. There's a lot of basketball to be played. Uh, We might not, we might be right now, if you look at the standings, maybe we're playing on Wednesday, let's say, but there's a lot of basketball to be played. We might get a bye because there's so many teams that are so close.
by, by one or two games. So it can change very easily. All right, thanks. Uh, it hurt. I'm not going to lie. It did hurt. But um, hopefully it's not nothing major. And thank God I was able to get back out there and finish the game. Um, just shoot more, get more shots up, uh, make sure we shoot when we're tired. So throughout like the game, when it just gets towards the end of the game, that we still be able to make and knock down shots, and uh, not the force shots could help too. Um, we was just both running towards the ball, and when he bent down to grab it, his knee just hit connected with my knee. Sorry, that was just last question. Um, yeah, we had a defensive breakdown late in the game. Gave a wide open three in the corner, and. We couldn't really come back from that. It was really hard. Um, I don't wish they had to lose more. I feel like they're doing a good job rebounding the ball. Everyone has off nights, and maybe their ball wasn't bouncing their way on the rebound. So I feel like all our bigs do a good job uh, hustling, boxing out, and trying to get offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds. Anything else, Dave, you want to say? All right, I got one more real quick. Oh, it's just Pat Fisher. Um, any overall thoughts on how you guys played today? Um, it was a back and forth game all night. So just the, we were playing tough, and we weren't getting the calls that we maybe could have got. And the same could be said for the other team, but I feel like it was just a tough game. It was back and forth, and we just didn't come out on top this time. Uh, for each of you, what's something that uh, you guys want to work on uh, individually or each for the next game? Uh, for me, I'll try to make sure that I get my body right and back healthy. And uh, Just the same thing we've been doing, just trying to perfect my shot, work on ball handling, and that's about it. I feel like just staying healthy as well and just playing hard. Uh, just encouraging my other teammates to also play hard, giving the ball to my teammates so they can make plays, and they'll feed me in the post when I post up. And the same could be said for all the other bigs. I feel like we just need to move the ball around and play as a team. Just got to keep confidence. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, all